Well, we just completed the putting the end on the end piece, so I would say this this is done. I hadn't put this end on. I was still thinking about it. We still have an inch and a half overhang here, so I probably didn't have to have this, but I just I like it so much. And compared to the asphalt shingles, which have basically no overhang up there, here maybe a little bit, it's surprising that it didn't damage the uh, molding more than it did. So I hope it, I hope it doesn't get, get damaged before I put the new roof on. But this area should now direct the water away from that cellar area and I think it looks good and I think it's watertight this flashing goes up in there a bit so we should be okay I screwed down the asphalt shingles there so they should, the wind shouldn't catch them and start pulling them up which it, it could if they weren't they're, they're not real tight that top layer is not in there that good so this is a six inch from the edge of the roof over is six inches. And then in here is about four and a half inches. So I got it screwed in in three spots that are hitting this. And it's a pretty solid aluminum. This was actually salvaged from a pole barn. And that's what I've been using. I think I've mentioned that many times. Now it is gonna give the house a different look. But from the ground, you can still see the molding. So I don't think it's going to hurt the look. If anything, it adds a little bit more depth. So it's time to um, move the lift into our next location. Which is going to be up there at the main house. These have been falling fast today. A little wind and we had a bunch falling. And you can see, see how the gutters are getting full over there. So my goal is, when I redo that roof, no more gutters. So we'll see how that works out. That'll be multiple videos. But I have some cool ideas. Um, not sure which ones I'm going to execute. One of them is kind of crazy, but I think it would look really cool. And we're into October. I think today's the 6th or 7th. So you can see all of these. And these are the black walnuts here. Black walnut trees. The soft maple over there, the green one. Hasn't really changed at all. Interesting, I'm seeing a lot of brown on our, um, I think it's a juniper over there. Right on the other side of this roof here. That's not a great sign. Well, maybe they do that. I'm not sure about that. We do lose needles, so maybe that's just normal loss. I thought it was a healthy tree. The magnolia tree is still nice and green. And the soft maple up front is nice and green. The other one is turning some. And our copper European beech, which I'm worried about. Look at that beautiful color. 